go. Hey guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez. I'm coming at you with a Pokemon sales data video, and we are here with a uh, start with the jungle set. Jolteon first edition PSA nine sold for five hundred ninety dollars. Snorlax first edition PSA nine sold for seven hundred and sixty dollars. That Snorlax first edition PSA nine is extraordinarily undervalued. If something sell like. Something sells for $15,000 first edition PSA 10, and you can get that Snorlax first edition PSA 9. All right. This 9, by my formula, should be minimum, bare minimum, still balls to the wall cheap, $1,500. I, I, I should be buying Snorlaxes like this because people are, I don't want to say dumb, people are sleeping on this card. Okay, Wigglytuff first edition PSA 9 sold for $400. Scyther first edition PSA 9 sold for $270. Flareon first edition PSA 10 sold for $2,700. Now we have two more Flareons. The first edition PSA 9 sold for $565. Makes sense. And another first edition PSA 10 sold for $1,625. I don't know why that happened. Um, I didn't look at the uh, pictures or anything to see what the reasonable explanation was for a 66% haircut, 33% haircut uh, for that card. Uh, Jolteon first edition PSA 10 sold for $2,600. And a Jolteon First Edition PSA 9 sold for a uh, little bit about 600 And another Jolteon First Edition PSA 9 sold for 445 Those numbers make a lot of sense. Pinsir, First Edition PSA 9 sold for 203 And another one sold for 208 And then had a Victory Bell First Edition PSA 9 sold for $160. That was it for Jungle. A lot of stuff there, a lot of stuff. I, I think that depending on if someone's a Week 10 or not, like that, Flareon First Edition PSA 10 might have only had one picture, might have been a Week 10. Whatever explains that. But the Jolteon, you see, 445 and 565. Okay, so about $120 difference. But if you multiply these by, you know, 5, that first that 445 makes sense. Even the 565 makes sense when you multiply it by 5. Because it's almost, it's a slightly more than the Flareon first edition PSA 10 at 2700. Um, a little bit more. Actually, let me, let me do this real quick. 565, right? Times three, so we got five, eight, nine, one, yeah, twenty-eight ninety-five. So it's only above it by one hundred ninety-five dollars. Uh, that's the case. I would think the ten might have to go up a little bit, but if another one sold for four forty-five, it's probably falling within is the upper end of normal for that card. Uh, Rocket set, Dark Dragonite first edition PSA nine sold for six hundred sixty dollars. Dude, these cards took a haircut. This Dragonite because um, they were selling for like fourteen hundred dollars, and now it's way down. Dark Dug Trio, 1st edition PSA 9, sold for $163. Dark Gyarados, uh, I'm sorry, that was Dark Dug Trio, $163. Dark Gyarados, 1st edition PSA 9, sold for $450. Dark Hypno, 1st edition PSA 9, sold for $196. Dark Magneton, 1st edition PSA 9, $355. A Dark Vile Plume. <laughs> the guy, there, there was one guy selling all of this, and he's like, spicy Vile Plume. 1st uh, edition PSA 9, sold for $118. Dark Alakazam, 1st edition PSA 9, sold for $305. And a Dark Raichu, 1st Edition PSA 9, for four eighty five. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's a lot more. All right, let's, there's like four pages of these. Okay, so we have a Dark Charizard, 1st Edition PSA 9, sold for $2,125. Makes sense, the last PSA 10, sold for $10,000. Ding, 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 ding. Um, so maybe, again, we, we that 10 has been up and down. Three of them sold for well over 10, a little bit over $10,000. Then they started selling for, you know, like $8,500, $9,000. Now they're up to 10000 again. Um, so it's a little wibbly wibbly wobbly. It doesn't know where it wants to find its base yet. It's just kind of going up and down. Uh, Dark Arbok first edition PSA 9 for $61. Dark Blastoise PSA 9 sold for a thousand. Another Dark Blastoise sold for nine ten. And a, another Dark Charizard first edition PSA 9 sold for sixteen seventy five. I, I would say these are around two grand. You know, eight, eighteen hundred. You can get on a good deal. So whoever got that, great job. Although there's like a thousand of them. You know, PSA 9. So there's uh, markets always flooded with them. Uh, Dark, another Dark Dragonite first edition PSA nine. So this one sold for nine hundred dollars. That makes a lot more sense than the six sixty. Uh, Dark Machamp first edition PSA nine sold for two sixty five. Dark Slowbro sold for two forty three. Uh, another spicy Dark Vile Plume first edition PSA nine sold for one twenty eight. How's that compared with this one? Oh yeah, that's ten dollar difference. Um, and then a Dark Charizard, another one first edition PSA nine sold for sixteen seventy five. Right. Oh wow, there's two of them. Yeah, two of them sold for sixteen seventy five. Uh, then a, a Rocket Sneak Attack, 1st Edition PSA 9, so for 141. Dark Raichu, 1st Edition PSA 9, so for 580. And a Dark Alakazam, 1st Edition PSA 9, so for $280. Uh, this is probably the one that's going to go up 
later. I mean, it's already gone up just because of the Charizard brings attention to it and Dark Knight in town as well. And it's got a blast light, so there's a lot of cool things in here. But the... Again, any set that has a Charizard will, but just because this was so overprinted, so many, so many print runs, even for first edition, um, there's just a lot. There's a lot to, lot to go through there. Um, so it's, it's not going to be all absorbed the same way like Gym Challenge was, which has, you know, about half. Uh, Neo Destiny. Uh, Light Dragonite. First edition PSA 9, so for $610. Shining Charizard. First, uh, I'm sorry, not first edition. Unlimited PSA 10, so for $8,900. Now, the Shining Charizard and the uh, Unlimited and the Blaine's Charizard first edition PSA 10, they've kept around track around the same. Um, Blaine's Charizard has always been a little bit higher than the Dark Charizards, just because th there's a, a lot less of them available. With the Unlimited Charizards, they they've always stuck neck and neck. Blaine's Charizard is pulling away a little bit. Um, the last one sold for... I, I have it in here, but this one sold for 8900 The Shining Charizard Unlimited PSA 10. $8,900 is not bad. Uh, Blaine's Charizard sold for a little bit higher than that. Shining Charizard First Edition PSA 10 sold for $20,000. Hot damn. Uh, and then a Light Togetic First Edition PSA 9 sold for $280. I still say that Shining Charizard is undervalued because there is not a lot. It's not a lot of them. Um, I, I think I know. Granted, I'm saying this where three months ago you could have bought one for seven thousand dollars, eight thousand um, dollars, and even last month could have bought it for fifteen thousand dollars. So now I increase it thirty three percent, twenty thousand. I just there's not a lot of these, um, and that, that's just for Neo Destiny Fossil Set. Got a bunch of these. Uh, Kabutops first edition PSA nine, so for two fifty one, and a Magneton first edition PSA nine, so for two oh six. Moltres first edition PSA 9 is over 400. Articuno BGS 9.5. I'm sorry, just 9. 560. Articuno first edition PSA 9 is over 510. Uh, Ditto first edition PSA 9 is over 248. All these are first edition PS PSA 9. Uh, Haunter 305. Hypno 163. Kabutops 290. This is incredible first edition PSA 9. Lapras 520. Raichu 338. Uh, Zapdos 455. Moltres, 188. Dragonite, 1400. Hypno, 153. Hitmon Lee, 241. And uh, another Hypno sold for 170. So a lot of Hypnos here. Hypno sold for 170, 153, 163. Yeah, that's it. So uh, a, a bunch of those. And again, this is the last couple days I, I didn't hit yesterday because a lot of stuff to do, a lot going on. Anyway, I'll, also, for those of you that. I've had some people tell me, like, why don't you ever use, like, thumbnails? I don't know. I don't have a computer. Just using my phone. I don't know how to do thumbnails. Um, so a lot of times, it's just me looking like autistic. Like, mm. like <laughs> sorry. Um, it's just, I don't pick them. I know I look ugly. I look stupid. It's just, when I get a computer and figure out how to do them, I will totally, totally make it aesthetically pleasing. I'll put, like, a pretty girl or something on there. I will put my girlfriend on there. You will like her. She is adorable. Although she doesn't want to come on the podcast, it's okay. Separate. It's a separate job as issue. I got a lot, a lot more stuff to go through. Promos. Blastoise. CD promo. Uh, BGS 9.5. 298. Bunch of Masakis here. All PSA 9. Alakazam. $1,099. Masaki Golem. 935. Masaki Gengar. $2,550. Masaki Machamp. 510. And a Masaki Omastar. 516. So this is slightly under the 5500 that I paid for the complete set. Um, also because a Masaki Gengar previously had sold for like $3,200. I was like, oh, this is amazing. I feel like now that um, me and like SM Pratt, a couple people have been talking about Masakis a lot. There's a lot of like them coming aboard and people trying to sell. I was like, uh, uh, <laughs> rip. Uh, bal uh, balloon Pikachu. There's like 21 of these PSA 10 copies. Uh, Japanese Balloon Pikachu. It's not the Flying Pikachu. It's Balloon Pikachu. Japanese um, version, PSA 10 from Koroko Comics. Glossy. Sold for $3,000. Still undervalued, in my opinion. Uh, Arcanine Town on No Map. Uh, this is the Japanese version. PSA 10. Just beautiful, beautiful artwork. And I love that Town on No Map. Uh, 314. And then we had an Umbreon Japanese Split Earth. First edition, PSA 10. Sold for 918. And a Gengar Mysterious Mountains. Uh, Japanese first edition PSA 10, so for $810. Another Masaki Alakazam PSA 9, so for $1645. Really? Oh, wow. Big big difference. Because one sold for $1099, the other sold for $1645. <coughs> Corona! 
And a Blastoise CD promo, PSA 10. It's over 1026. Okay, some Gym Challenge. Here we go. You ready? All right. Gym Challenge. Sabrina, first edition, PSA 10. $310. I feel like it should be a little bit more. Anyway, Gar uh, Giovanni's Gyarados, first edition, PSA 8. It's over 176. I think that's a little undervalued. Just my opinion. Uh, Blaine's Charizard, first edition, PSA 10. It's over $10,293.61. I think that's the most someone's bought for it on eBay. Privately, it's sold for higher, like I think uh, 11.5 and then 13K. But this is the highest one that's been on eBay, public. Now, there's another one on PWCC auction right now. That's like, I, I think, 5,500 right now, uh, like nine days left. Um, there's so many uh, on there right now. There's a Lugia at like 40 grand with nine days left. It's going to be ridiculous. Uh, Blaine's Charizard Raw. I would have given this an 8 to a 9. And y'all know, like, I'm a harsh grader. So when I say 8 to a 9, probably going to get a 9. $1,225. That is stupid. Under Whoever got that, good on you. Sabrina's Drowsy. First edition PSA 10. Uh, oh, so for $70. That was me. I sold that. Uh, and then a Master Ball. Uh, first edition PSA 10. I also sold that for $150. Harris. Today was a very good day. Blaine's Arcanine. Uh, first edition PSA 9. Sold for $1,000. Uh, Blaine's Charizard first edition PSA 9 is over 3500 These, alright, if you want to get a first edition Charizard, a Blaine's Charizard PSA 9, and you don't want to spend five figures for the PSA 10, now is a good time to get the 9s. They were selling at like $4,500. They have dipped now to thirty five. You could probably get them between three and four grand right now. If you can, you're getting it at a discount. It's just, just my opinion. Um, which is what I'm seeing. Koga's Ditto, first edition PSA 9, sold for $175. Koga's Beedrill, first edition PSA 9, sold for $149. Ow. Ow. Giovanni's Persian, first edition PSA 9, sold for $355. Sabrina's Porygon, first edition PSA 10, sold for $108. Then we had uh, Misty's Gyarados, first edition uh, PSA 9, sold for $370. Uh, Japanese Blaine's Charizard, first, oh, I'm sorry, Japanese Blaine's Charizard PSA 10, sold for $1525. I figured I'd put that in there. Uh, Misty's Gyarados, first edition PSA 9, if that is three seventy right now, then that Misty's Gyarados PSA ten should be around fifteen hundred bucks, give or take. Um, moving on to Gold Stars, we have a couple of Gold Stars. We have a Suicune uh, PSA ten sold for fifteen twenty five. Entei PSA ten sold for eleven seventy five. Raikou PSA ten sold for fifteen oh five. Gold Star Pikachu, these are so cool. This is a nine. This sold for seventeen oh five. And a Japanese Charizard Gold Star PSA ten sold for eleven thousand one hundred dollars. And the big one, uh, non-Japanese in English, Gold Star Charizard, PSA 10, so for $30,300. Record price point for that one. Um, that's incredible. Gold Stars, I think, are on... Uh, ow, that... A lot of the people that Logan Paul and, every, you know, Gary V and um, Logic and Justin Bieber brought in, mostly focus on base set. Not a lot of them... Some of them have, I think, gone to Neo Genesis, and I'll let you know how and why. Um, and some of them got a small couple, might not have been from those guys, from other people, going to trophies. But none of them have really gone to gold stars yet. They've gone up just because everything's gone up, people, you know, fear of missing out. But at gold stars, I think, it's, in my opinion, is just undervalued. Um, uh, most of them. Oh, well, maybe except for Charizard, that might do a retrace because it's $30,000. Um, Neo Genesis. Uh, Lugia First Edition PSA 6 with a swirl, so for $1,510. That was my sale. Oh, congrats to me. Meganium, number 11, first edition PSA 9, so for 413. Pikachu, first edition PSA 6, so for 143. Uh, Kingdra, first edition PSA 9, so for 189. Jump Club, first edition PSA 9, so for 164. Feraligator, number 5, first edition PSA 8, so for 330. I think that's undervalued. It's my opinion. Feraligator, uh, first edition PSA 9, number 4. Uh, number 4 is the one with the not as good artwork, in my opinion. PSA 9, so for $7.55. Now, I had a Feraligator artwork. It was a pack. It was a pack. It was an unlimited pack. Artworks for Alligator. Sold for $5.10. Nice. So, if that's sold for $5.10, the artwork for the Feraligator for first edition, uh, again, this this was like first, it was a pack, but it was in like a little cardboard thing that you could tell you could buy packs like that. Additional artwork, I don't know. Then I think the first edition should be probably $1,000, in my opinion. Especially since these prices are going sky high. Metal Energy first edition PSA 9 sold for $100. Azumarill first edition PSA 9 sold for 250 
That metal energy is super undervalued. I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, for alligator number four, first edition PSA nine sold for eight hundred and fifty dollars. So we have two of them. One sold for seven fifty five. One sold for eight fifty. And then a T eighteen Typhlosion number eighteen, the worst one in my opinion. More common, not as easily accessible. First edition PSA nine sold for thirteen twenty five. Record price point on that one. And a Meganium number ten, first edition PSA uh, eight. And the Meganium number ten is better artwork. Number eight got three twelve. And the first edition PSA nine for number eleven with the worst artwork. Got 413. So it's a hundred and one dollar difference between the nine of the eleven and the eight of the number ten. So like I said, the ten is your best bet for investment. Uh Lugia first edition PSA seven sold for eleven. No. One thousand <laughs> first edition PSA seven sold for one thousand one hundred and thirty-one dollars. Um and you're seeing a lot of these prices, you're seeing what I saw at Blaine's Charizard a couple months ago with Lugia. You're seeing that, okay, the 6 just sold for more than the 7. And now the 6, you can't find any for under, like, $1,800. Uh, the 7s, I think the same thing. All these are either on auction or they're just really high. And just I keep telling you, and I've said it before, I'll say it again. told this one guy on eBay. This is something, I, I have a first edition PSA 7, a first edition PSA 8. You could offer me $2,400 $2, for the PSA 7. I'm not going to take it. I have the the eight as 4K right now. I should. I think after this video, I'm going to up it to 5K because I'm afraid that someone's going to say like, okay, this Lugia that's first edition PSA 10. The last one sold for fifty thousand dollars. Current bid is forty thousand on this one with nine days left. This is probably going to get up to sixty, and if that happens. The nine is going to at least be, you know, like like ten, twelve grand. So that yeah, I, I, I think the. All of these Lugias, because there's only like 1,100 of the, from PSA 1 to 10, there's only like 1,100 of them. And there's a lot more people than that that like Lugia. Lugia's awesome. Like he's, ho -Oh wasn't featured in the movie 2000. He had that one little episode where he made an appearance in the, like the first episode. Uh, but Lugia had a whole freaking movie that everybody freaking loved. Do not sell your Lugias right now. Do not sell your Lugias. Um, yeah, the, the only reason I sold that 7 was like, okay, this guy's a good collector, he wants it, I'll give it to him, a little bit of premium, just because it, it's me, I ship out the next day, and it's got a swirl on it, um, you know, I like the guy, and I, I, I honestly, I didn't want to, I should, I should not have done it, um, because I know as soon as this 10 sells, this is gonna go, um, through the roof, and if I had more money, I would buy another, because not... Some of them, like I said, some of the people that Logan Paul and everyone that brought to like to like the hobby and base set, but some of them that are a little younger, that's what they collect was you know um, Neo Genesis. So that's that's something that I think is very undervalued at this moment. Base set Abra first edition PSA ten sold for uh, four hundred fifteen dollars. Charizard first edition PSA three sold for three thousand six hundred fifty one dollars. Uh, Japanese Charizard from 1996. No rarity. PSA 9 sold for $60,100. Now, why is that? Because it has the no rarity. No rarity symbol on it. Super, super rare. No, get it? That's like a pun. I don't know. Uh, Charizard Unlimited PSA 10 sold for $16,100. Yeah, these took a haircut too. You Charizard Unlimited Charizard PSA 10s, you're like, $30,000? They're going to go through the roof. But no, there, there's so many Unlimited... That's why I took a big haircut, 16100 Uh And I'm not surprised, it could go down more. Um, that Seal, first edition PSA 9, sold for $81. Onyx, first edition PSA 9, sold for $86. Blastoise, first edition PSA 9. Um, I'm glad I did not buy one. I'm glad I did not buy one for $20,000 because the top one, two, three, four bids were $12,100, $14,250, zero feedback. 1,990, uh, well, I'm sorry, um, 14,990, sorry, and, uh, 14,999, zero feedback, uh, and the person didn't pay because it was relisted, so, uh, then we had a Mewtwo, first edition PSA 9s for $4,200, I, I think that Blastoise is, pro is probably around 15 grand, but th there's a first edition PSA 10 that's on PWC PWCC auction right now, we'll see where that goes, uh, I think that's at 30k already right now. 
um, the nines. We'll see what happens. We'll see where they go. Um, this is something that I, I probably, if I had the money, I probably would buy it for 15 grand because I was about to pay 20 grand for it. So paying 15 grand now, I, I think is a really good deal. Just my opinion. Sky Ridge. Uh, it was a Charizard Hollow a PSA 10. So for $28,100. Pew! Record price point. Alakazam PSA 9. So for 406. Arcanine PSA 9. So for 670. Articuno PSA 9. So for 670. Uh, Beedrill PSA 9. So for uh, 191. Crobat PSA 9. So for 244. Dugong PSA 9. So for 280. Flareon PSA 9. So for 660. Boratrice PSA 9. For, so, uh, blah, 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 so for 285. Uh, that's it for Sky Ridge. Charizard is just my hero in that. Jim, uh, a little, a uh, Jim Heroes. We had a Blaine's Moltres first edition PSA nine sold for seven hundred fifteen dollars. The Blaine's Moltres first edition PSA ten is on auction right now. Current bid is four thousand dollars. So expect the nines to go up once this hits another record price point. <gasps> Sabrina's Gengar first edition BGS uh, nine. Sorry, nine point five. It had a nine for the corners and nine point five for the centering, and ten for the uh, surface and edges um so th this is a pretty good 9.5 only one of them one of the subgrades had below a nine or had below a 9.5 on it that was the corners got a nine and it sold for three thousand nine hundred sixty dollars oh my hip uh erica's dragon air first edition psa 10 sold for nine hundred ten dollars uh, i got that for like maybe six hundred dollars a couple months ago so increase 50 percent great on me aquapolis suicune psa 10 so for $1,035, that's it for Quapolis. All right, so we have a couple of offers here. We have a TCG collector on Instagram is offering $150,000 for a first edition PSA 10 Charizard. Uh, and he's also offering $40,000 for a first edition PSA 9 Charizard. Uh, now, I thought that PSA 9 Charizards were, were probably worth that because they did take a big haircut at $40,000. But on both of these guys, nobody's taking hair, nobody's biting. Now, on the, on the PSA 9 Charizard, that's surprising because we had one the other day that was about to sell for like uh, $37,500, but the guy who um, won it just like refused to buy it. Apparently, it came out that the seller did have negative feedback on him at some point, um, so that's maybe a, a maybe a reason why, but the, um, the, the 150 grand for a first edition PSA 10... I'm, I'm not surprised no one's taking that because at PWCC auction, somebody has their first edition PSA 10, you know, somebody bid $175,000 $175, and there's nine days left. So I'm not surprised. Like you're, there's, there's so many people that have declined 150 grand for that, including my friend Mark. I think he would decline 200 grand for that. I think this will get to over 200 grand, in my opinion. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. I love you. Please comment, like, and subscribe. This is a huge video. We have so much to go over. Um, <laughs> I love you guys. Uh, I hope you're all well. Goodbye. Yeah.